Hello, friends. Welcome back to Gastrophilia or What Fresh Heck? Where we are going to be trying a humanitarian daily ration. They say the this bag contains one day's complete food requirements for one person. Food gift from the people of the United States of America. No. This is a uh, I think it might say a lot about who we are as a country, uh, you know, what's in here and what's expected to be a full daily supply of food. But this also brings up something interesting for me, something I was thinking about last night while in preparation for today's video. And I was thinking, you know, we've got two massive conflicts, wars, in the national zeitgeist right now. The two biggies, you know. And, and I sort of, from my perspective, they feel like they're sort of... They're almost on opposite ends of the spectrum. This isn't, you know, I, I don't have a planned script here or a written narrative, anything like that. But I just sort of feel like, you know, on one end of the spectrum, you have the Russia-Ukraine conflict uh, with, you know, with a decidedly sort of antagonists and protagonists. Almost, you know, the good guys and the bad guys. It's, it's pretty easy to tell who the good guys are and who the bad guys are in this conflict. You know, but on the opposite end of this spectrum, you have the, the war in Gaza. And I kind of feel like, you know, what really occurred to me there is, uh, there are, there are no good guys in that conflict. Only bad guys and worse guys, and it's almost impossible to tell which is which. And. And other than that, you have innocent civilians dying. And I just don't, you know, I, I really don't feel like either side is in the right here. They've both just gone off the rails with this conflict. It has, it is horrifying what has happened here. And, you know, that's that's why you won't see us really making jokes about this on, on Weekly Broken News because there's nothing I can see about that conflict that's funny. It really... It's really horrifying. Um, so... That was the political part of this, you know. I, I mean, the other part of this is, you know, remember that for that ceasefire, this is what they were delivering. This is what we were trying to get to the people in Gaza. Something probably almost exactly like this. So I'm curious as to what what we were trying to give them. All right, there we go. That's the that's the political side of this out of the way. 
Now, let's read the warning and then open the package and see what we've got. The warning says, to avoid danger of suffocation, keep this plastic bag away from babies and children. Do not use this bag in cribs, beds, carriages, or play pens. This bag is not a toy. There. All right, let's pop it open, see what happens. Here we have the package of food. And it says crackers. What'd you call me? Uh, so this entire package is uh, vacuum sealed or, you know, not exactly vacuum sealed, but sealed up. So let's see what this top green package is it is an unnamed green package i'm sure there will be instructions later that will tell us what the unnamed green package is HDR, Humanitarian Daily Ration, Peas in Tomato Sauce, Food Gift from the People of the United States of America. Something about this just makes me feel like we're kind of full of ourselves. Peas in Tomato Sauce. Calories 280, serving size one pouch, one serving per container. Ingredients, water, black eyed peas, tomato paste, onion, modified food starch, soybean oil, contains less than 2% of spices, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and sugar. Packaged for Sapanko Packaging, Mullen, South Carolina. And its instructions are open and eat. I'm assuming that's what the green package is. We have a one ounce package of peanut butter, which very much reminds me of the packages of peanut butter that you could get in jail, which was, you know, delicious because, you know, we have a shortbread, a shortbread cookie at 300 calories and it has United States of America stamped all over the front of it we also have an oatmeal cookie at 240 calories with 
America stamped all over the front of it. Oh, the peanut butter is 160 calories. We may do a calorie count later. Strawberry jam. Ooh. 70 calories. One ounce. Your standard package of utensil, uh, wet naps, sugar packets, probably salt and pepper, pack of matches, which is interesting. Pack of matches, interesting. Unfrosted toaster pastry, brown sugar, 410 calories. Unfrosted pop tart. Crackers. What'd you call me? 170 calories. All right. And the third meal in the package, vegetable barley stew, 300 calories. Again, again, the instructions are open and eat. Uh, ingredients are water, barley, tomato paste, potato, potatoes, sodium acid, pyrophosphate, soybean oil, corn, carrots, modified food starch contains 2% or less of bell peppers, black pepper, dextrose, garlic powder, onions, salt, may contain wheat. So, Kat says, so around 1100 calories alone with junk food that has no real nutrition value. Yes, but only a little bit of junk food that has no real nutritional value. Um, I point out that the oatmeal cookie has, at the very least, fiber content. I'm surprised that they haven't included coffee or a tea bag. Always useful. Always like to keep one. We are going to see how much waste is produced through this as well. We will be keeping all of the waste products, all of the trash in this, in this bag, and we will see about how much it is. We're not going to weigh it because I don't think I have the means to actually weigh it. But, to begin with, let us note that there's a lot of plastic in this. Now, on one hand, that's really good for, you know, easy and quick uh, sharing of 
safe products. But also, it's a lot of plastic. So we've got our, we've got our two sugar packets. Uh, it does not say how much is in each, nor what the calorie count is per. A packet of crushed red pepper. Salt and pepper. And a, a napkin. And a refreshing fresh nap. So, I guess we'll take them in order. Breakfast. Uh, and we'll have the peas and tomato sauce for lunch. And we will have the... Uh, where did I put that butter? Ah, and we will have the vegetable barley stew for dinner. Now, we're going to assume that we do not have a way to heat these up even though i very easily could boil some water drop the packets in boiling water and have them warm but to truly test how these are in emergency situations we will not be doing that so Frost, unfrosted toaster pastries. Pastry. By the way, how does it sound with the microphone where it is? They are Pop-Tarts. Very shiny, shiny, shiny Pop-Tarts. Yeah, let me put that there for now. I do not like Pop-Tarts, especially cold Pop-Tarts. Um, oh, that smell. I remember that smell well. I, uh, when I was 15 or so, it actually is slightly better than I remember. When I was 15 or so, on a school trip, we hiked uh, a small portion of the Appalachian Trail. Oh, it's only one pop tart. Um, and it was. I ate more cold pop tarts than. Oh, they it just it got to me after a while. That is better than I remember. Uh, it looks like these Pop-Tarts have been cooked somewhat and then packaged. The deadpan dog is on my bed uh, scratching right now. 
Hey, buddy, you done? Thank you. To make this a little bit more palatable, I'm gonna try putting some of the strawberry jam on it. And it's not unpalatable, but it's also not what I would call delicious. There we go. Give you all a look at that strawberry jam. Because it looks oh so appetizing. Amazingly enough, not super sweet. Not very strawberry, but not very sweet either. We're gonna give that a rest. I'll come back to that later on today and finish it up. But instead of eating the whole thing right now, I will move on so that we uh, we get through this a little bit quicker. So that was that was breakfast. This is peas and tomato sauce for, for lunch. And again, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Uh, I will save it. I mean, not eat the whole thing right now. I will eventually eat the whole thing because there's a part of me that is remembering that uh, this could have been feeding somebody in Ukraine or in, um, in Gaza. So, you know, I'm just saying maybe Maybe I shouldn't waste any of it. Mm. Oh, I think that's the vegetable barley. Because it looks it looks like there's barley in that. It does not look exactly appetizing, but mm. I, I cannot explain to you. Oh, heck no. This is my lunch and dinner. <laughs> there is something to this. There is a, a, a flavor profile memory in this that is 
Mm. Mm. I've been craving that. I have actually been craving that. Oh my goodness. Mm. Oh, it's hard to explain. It really... It really is. But it is just there... I, I remember it from something, somewhere, sometime. And it was a good memory. And that tastes like good memory. Mm, doesn't even need to be heated up. I could destroy that entire package cold. <clears throat> that is, uh... Whoa. Hard to explain. All right, so we are gonna now have a mid-afternoon snack. We are gonna have peanut butter and jelly on a cracker. What'd you call me? So, I would say overall, on the spectrum between gastrophilia and what, what frack hash, hack, sheesh, can't speak today, can I? Um, we are solidly at a 6.5 on, on this, uh, on this. We are easily in the gastrophilia range, and I believe we're gonna probably stay in the gastrophilia range. Um, it's hard to believe that this that there's gonna be anything that's gonna drop this below a 5.5. Uh, <clears throat> all right. It looks like pretty standard peanut butter. The crackers are kind of in the wheat flavored cardboard range. But, you know, you can't really expect a whole lot. And, and I'm fine with that. Cat says, Hard to believe, but really good to hear that it isn't all cardboard with glue like Mom used to call MREs. And no, it really isn't cardboard with glue. It's... Now, you know... You gotta remember that I do, I have a preference towards, uh, I have a preference towards, you know, less ostentatious foods. 
Uh, so this is, you know, MREs are right up my alley when it comes to it. Um, trying to find a kind way of saying peasant food. I mean, in that sense, I, I am slightly a peasant myself, so. That is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on crispy bread. It is exactly what is advertised. It is a solid five on the on the scale. It neither adds nor takes away from the overall rating. Kat says mom got her nurse training in the army and didn't have a high opinion of ready meals. And that, you know, that makes sense. I also think that these may be slightly better than MREs because these are a gift to people, not what we're feeding our uh, government issue individuals. That's what GI means, by the way, is government issue. So that childhood comic book and cartoon series was government issue, Joe. In the name, it was talking about the U.S. government owning its soldiers. Just thought I'd pass that along. Exceptionally acceptable. And so this must be the peas and tomato sauce. smells like food. <laughs> it looks a lot like the other stuff, except for with black-eyed peas instead of barley. has a slightly different taste. It tastes sort of like the version of the other stuff that I would get in jail, which is also acceptable. I like jail food, so. Well.
I would say that we are still solidly at a 6.5 on the scale. Both of these are are better than just acceptable, in my opinion. And I will be devouring them a little later on. The nice thing about them, and I drink, I have to drink a lot of fluid when I eat. And I think it has something to do with uh, the medication that I take for my cystic fibrosis. Um, the nice thing about these is I don't need near as much fluid. They're, they're very, got a lot of fluid to them, which means that they are getting at least some measure of water to whoever is consuming them, which helps with dehydration. I've so far pretty well enjoyed what what they've given me. And I feel like if this is what we are giving people on behalf of the United States, people who need aid, I feel like we could we could bump the calories up a little bit. You know, it could use, I would say, a minimum of, of 1,500 to 2,000 calories, uh, you know, and I think an easy way to do that would be to include a powdered uh, sports drink something to help people with what they're quite possibly, you know, going through with uh, dehydration. Ah, bits of my shortbread cookie are dropping. It is a standard shortbread cookie. Stale. Stale shortbread cookie. I like it, personally. I don't know that it would be everybody's cup of tea, but I like it. I like stale cookies. I feel like, I feel like I taste almond in there. I'll be finishing that later as well. And finally, we will eat the oatmeal cookie. Cat points out that they may have used almond meal. They may have, and I did not read the ingredients list because it's small on a shiny background. 
Oh, that oatmeal cookie is also stale. Again, just the way I like them. I like a crispy cookie. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Easily one of the best oatmeal cookies I've ever had. The oatmeal cookie brings it up to a solid seven. This, uh, this humanitarian day's worth of calories is a solid seven on the taste scale. And I definitely feel like, I definitely feel good about this being what people are getting on behalf of the American public. You know, I do not mind that this is what we are giving people in our name. Uh, it is, uh, I feel like, yeah. I'm quite all right with that. I do think that we should be giving our soldiers something at least as good as this. Um, I'll find out. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll try a soldier's MRE at some point. You know, I also think that uh, all the jails and prisons should be providing food at least as good as this. Uh, and not just my... Not just the jail that I have frequented. <laughs> yes, I, I, I have a home jail. Jail away from home. And they do... I... God, I hate to put it this way, but... My jail away from home does really good food. I mean, really, really good food. Better than some restaurants in Charlottesville. Not worth getting arrested and going to jail for. But not far off. <laughs> I am not... I am not suggesting anybody get arrested or commit crimes. I'm not saying that. Just saying. The food at that jail is really good. And this is, this is on par with that. So, <clears throat> pardon me. Well, all right, friends. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Gastrophilia. Um, oh, yeah, you know, I, I didn't, uh, I didn't put all of the trash in here. You know, I'm not fully done with all the food, but I will say that probably one tenth of the weight, maybe a little less than a tenth of the weight of the entire thing is, is plastics. Plastics left over. Uh, so, thank you very much for joining us, friends. Remember, find something you love out there and savor it. Enjoy life because that's pretty much all we really have, isn't it? And remember to be good to each other. It's, it's not hard, just be good to each other. Bye.